Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited today because I have so much delicious brunch food in front of me and I actually get to enjoy it. We're back in Memphis, Tennessee. We're right on the border of Germantown and Memphis, Tennessee. We're here at the Bagel Memphis. The Bagel Memphis is an authentic New York deli, so they've got a whole bunch of just deliciousness. They're open until two on the weekdays, and then I think 3 p.m. on weekends. Big thank you to the owners, Rebecca and Scott, for having me in to kind of promote and show off this menu. This isn't gonna be a food challenge because nobody will be able to attempt this after I get done. So we're calling it the brunch is served challenge because we've got a whole bunch of breakfast items, we've got a whole bunch of lunch items, starting off with the salmon plain bagel and cream cheese. So I had a whole bunch of options as far as bagels go. I just went with plain for this one so I can enjoy the salmon. And then we've got some healthy tomatoes, we've got onions, and then I added on uh, cream cheese, capers and onions. And then this is filled with corned beef. It is their knish, which is basically some dough on the outside wrapped around a whole bunch of homemade mashed potatoes and then chunks of corned beef. I am pumped for, I love breakfast skillets. There's three eggs in here. For meats, I went with ham. And then for healthy vegetables, we've got green peppers and then mushrooms. Well, I could have gone with breakfast potatoes or hash browns. I went with hash browns. And then we got pepper jack cheese. And then over here, we've got a New York bagel dog. And then with that, I'm gonna have some of their New York Nathan's mustard. Over here, we've got some matzo soup with two matzo balls. And then over here, this is an eggle, a breakfast bagel sandwich. Three eggs on here, provolone cheese. And then we went with turkey sausage topped with avocado. We've got two big old pieces of their challah French toast which I'm gonna to top with fresh from Vermont syrup. And then there's already some powdered sugar on there. We've got their potato latkes, which are kind of like potato pancakes. And then I can dip them in sour cream and then applesauce. Over here, I've already got corned beef in this knish, so I didn't wanna get that on my Reuben. But I've got a pastrami Reuben, which has a whole bunch of pastrami. There is Russian dressing, sauerkraut, and it's all on their freshly baked marble rye bread. In addition to that, we've got a side. I went with their homemade broccoli sloth. This is their cheese blitz. I don't think I've ever had it before, but it's basically a crepe that's filled with cream cheese filling. And then it's topped with healthy strawberries. And then we've got some of their homemade strawberry jelly. And then for dessert, they said I need to be excited for this. It is a slice of fudge pie topped with a little bit of chocolate sauce. So this is not a challenge, but I'm just gonna try to aggressively enjoy it and finish it in one sitting. Let's get this started. All right, it was crazy to get here. I was just last night in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, near Gatlinburg and all that. So that was like a six, seven hour drive here. Thank you to my friends Rebecca and Scott for having me in to the Bagel Memphis to feast on their menu. I'm gonna start off with this knish, I think, and then we'll just work our way from there. Let's dominate. One, two, three. Boom! All right, and along the way, I do have some root beer, courtesy of Dr. Brown. So that is all in this cup. And then they also have a whole bunch of coffee here. So I've got an Italian drip coffee, but let's have some knish. Great mashed potatoes on that Indian taco last night. Great in here too. That corned beef is good. The meats, the fish, everything is flown in from New York. Authentic. Even having the healthy vegetables. I want to enjoy this early on while I'm fresh. This is their smoked salmon bagel sandwich. Let's dominate. The salmon looked amazing. I figured this was going to be good. And this is a lot of cream cheese on here, but I like cream cheese. I know I had to get a couple bagels with this challenge because we're at the bagel, but they've got a whole massive bagel oven. Uh, they boil them here, everything's freshly made. Awesome. They said it would be a little salty with the capers and they're right, but that is just the right amount.
This is one of those things where it probably wouldn't be my first choice as far as if I was at a place to order, but uh, it is so good to try. This has been really delicious. I do enjoy salmon. All right, let's eat the lettuce first. This is basically exactly what it sounds like a New York bagel dog. It is a big old hot dog wrapped around with their bagel dip. All right, the other half. Let's do one of these matzo balls. Okay, that is good. We're gonna do the hollow French toast now with this fresh from Vermont syrup. Their uh, Italian drip coffee is amazing. I've had challah French toast before, but it's been a while. Apparently challah bread has more honey and eggs. Honey and egg, okay. There's not many breakfast challenges available these days, so it's awesome to be able to do this. Katina and I were just talking about that last night. There's not many breakfast challenges available, so let's keep going. All right, done with half. Let's do the other half. This syrup is good, I like that. I think I'm used to, I don't know if I've ever had specifically Vermont syrup. Yeah, potato lockies first. I'm gonna dip one into the applesauce, then the other into sour cream. So let's do sour cream first. Actually, let's start without anything first. Cycling fuel, that's what this is. That does not need sour cream, but we'll try it. Let's try it in the applesauce. Should have tried sour cream and applesauce. Oh, that is good. Next, I'm gonna move on to the cheese blitz, which are basically crepes. We're going all hands in for this. I could have gone with other flavor options, but I love strawberry. Going down. When all these plates were coming out, I was scared, but now I'm feeling confident. I've got like five friends in the Memphis area, and when I told them I was coming back in my schedule, they all said they've been to here. That made me know that I was in for a treat. So, all right, this is basically a scramble with healthy vegetables, ham, pepper jack cheese. Rebecca was acting like this was gonna be the biggest thing, but once I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I got this. I just realized I haven't tried any of the Dr. Brown's root beer yet. We'll finish that with this scramble. Oh yeah. I do enjoy root beer. Rebecca basically said she'd be done a while ago. All right, while I'm putting this onto the table, Rebecca did want me to let you all know that the bagel does corporate catering. So if you're interested in that, the link is down in the description to the website. But let's move on and have this eggle. It's got an Asiago cheese bagel. We've got three eggs. It's all topped with healthy avocado. And then we've got turkey sausage. And then we've got provolone cheese on here. So let's do it. I should have done this earlier on, but it is still really good. I like that the provolone cheese is melted. I am ready to be done almost. Thankfully, we're almost there.
I've never had Dr. Brown's before, I don't think. That's pretty good stuff. And then I did get turkey sausage, not for health reasons or anything like that. It probably has more sodium than the normal. Uh, I got it so that I'd have more of a, a turkey and avocado kind of feel to it. Loving the bagels, that is for sure. I thought this was gonna take a lot longer, but we've been cruising through. Now I'm gonna work on this pastrami Reuben sandwich. What is this orange sauce on here? Oh, this is Russian dressing, okay. That pastrami tastes delicious. It is juicy and going right down. The bagel not only has dine-in, but they've also got a whole bunch of takeout that you can do. By the time you're watching this, they already have family-style dinners that you can take home, yes. And then of course, cater. Let's shut up and eat and finish the rest of this brunch. Thirty-three minutes in. All right, you can definitely tell this is freshly baked bread. I've enjoyed this marble rye bread and then the bagels especially. All right, last bite of the pastrami root. Whole lot of love in all this food too. The Bagel Memphis has been open pretty much for two years now, which is awesome. Menu is delicious. But we're done with the food now, and then we'll move on to this Grammy's Fudge Pie. They got a whole bunch of dessert options. I was thinking between either cookies or Granny's Fudge Pie. I decided when I saw it today, I had to go with the fudge pie, but let's get it down and then we are done. Oh, wow. Yeah. Holy crap. Uh -huh. Have you had it? Uh huh. Oh, wow. I, I was waiting for you to see Okay. It. Well, no, I usually say I like stuff undercooked, like undercooked brownies, uh, undercooked cookies, stuff like that. This is almost like that. Oh, it is ooey gooey. A lot of desserts aren't worth the calories. This is. Like I said earlier, I was pretty scared when they were bringing out all the different plates, but I knew that there was just a lot of plates, but still, that was a lot of food. I did finish faster than I thought I would while still enjoying all of that amazingness. 38 minutes and 24 seconds, yes. They gave me a whole bunch of options. They pretty much let me pick what I wanted. I, of course, got recommendations from Rebecca, which were awesome, but yeah, that meal that I just had, brunch of serve style pretty much showed a lot of the stuff they have on their menu here at the Bagel Memphis, which is on the border of Germantown and Memphis, Tennessee. But yeah, as far as my top three things go, I'm gonna go, not in any particular order, but let's go with that salmon bagel sandwich. That was great with the cream cheese, the capers, healthy tomatoes and red onions. I would have, I think, placed it in my top three, the breakfast skillet if I had started eating it earlier. Either way, that was still great. But I'm gonna go with, I think, number three, and I'll save number two for a minute, but number three was that fudge pie. That went right down, that was delicious. Definitely hope to have that again in the future. The blintzes, yes, yeah, I can't really pronounce it, but I can definitely eat those, because those were amazing. But yeah, so big thank you to owners Rebecca and Scott here at the Bagel Memphis for the delicious meal. I am going to get the meal free, of course, thanks to all of you guys watching and supporting our efforts. Hopefully you guys, if you haven't already, if you're in the Memphis area, come on by and enjoy some of their delicious food. 
You can also get it for takeout. You can get some of their family dinners. They also have corporate catering available as well. But yeah, it was not a challenge win, but that is okay, because I enjoyed all of that breakfast. And then we're gonna be up in Kentucky for the next three challenges. But thank you guys all for watching. So I'm pretty sure you won the challenge. Because you didn't yeah. throw it.